As we continue to rebound from the pandemic, we know that so many people are still out of work and looking for a more stable career path. The Pinellas Con Suncoast Transit Authority now hiring more than 80 bus drivers are also promising on site training. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella shows how much you can make and how to apply. My pay scale in restaurant work was never consistent. After years as a server and without a regular salary, Stacy Johnson transitioned into becoming a bus driver with the Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority. What if the passengers only want to pay cash? Now, 14 years later, she's never looked back. You're going to start out the bottom just like you do in every job. You're going to work your way to the top, but it's always going to get better. Now, Stacy, along with training supervisor AJ Ortiz, is part of the crew looking to recruit and train 86 new drivers in the next year. I tell everybody, you know, uh, first and foremost, you know, you don't, uh, no experience is needed. You know, as long as you have a good heart, we can go ahead and, and, and teach you how to drive a bus. You do need to have a clean driving record with at least five years of driving experience, but no commercial driver's license or CDL is needed to start. New drivers will get paid CDL training for eight weeks at $12 an hour. They'll also receive a raise at $15 an hour after graduation. Supervisors say the advancement opportunities don't stop there. I've been given multiple opportunities, uh, have bettered myself uh, as, as a human being. Drivers do receive a full benefits package and can make more than $50,000 a year. PSTA says the pandemic has shown how essential the services are that they provide, and they are both recession and pandemic proof. If you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. The Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority is processing those job applications right now. So if you'd like to apply, just head to abcactionnews.com and click on Good Morning Tampa Bay. In St. Petersburg, I'm Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.